Hi, it's me Habibi here from ZofiaCreasi.com. In this video tutorial, I will talk about localization. What is localization? Localization is the ability for a software or for an application to provide different user interface language. For example, if you have this web app you see this web app is in English you can read it the title you can read the title here it is in English and the button is is in English show alert and if I click it it can show this message it is in also in English now I want to give it the ability uh, for the user to change the language for this web app instead of showing this show alert text here in English the app should show it in Indonesian language for example so how to do that let's start with codes here the title here which is this one has an ID called my title and also the button have has an ID called my button and this is show alert function that if I click the button this function will be triggered and run this alert function and this is English message this is my message now let's start with our localization for example uh, f for first thing I want to do is to create a variable called language you know it's the basic concept you can modify it later depends to your need of course here I'm going to add a variable called language and initially I'm going to set it en for English language English okay then here I'm going to create let me create it create it after this code I'm going to create a function called localize like this <coughs> and this function takes two parameters first is the text and the second is this is the original text and the second is localized tag localized text and I'm going to run a switch statement switch this switch statement is for this localized uh, no I'm sorry it should be language language now this this switch statement is for language I'm going to switch the, the language uh, and check if it is in English case if it means if it is in English in case it is in English I'm sorry so then after that I'm going to add if statements if <coughs> if now I'm going to check the text if text is for example title don't worry I will 
explain it later what does this title means what does this title mean text equ if text equal to title then here uh, for the localized text I'm going to create a variable called localized text and it is empty variable or let me just leave it like this if text equal to title then localized text equal to we are in English language and we are in title text so I will return list text itself because it is in English then okay <coughs> now if if the text is equal to alert button alert button then localize text equal to this text show alert <coughs> if of course you can also use another switch here instead of this if 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 statements but let me just use this if statements if text is equal to alert <coughs> message then localized text should be this text now let's break that is for English now here I'm going to add a new language ID for in Bahasa Indonesia language then I'm going to copy this statements and simply translate this text here localize if the text is title text that the text that should be displayed to the to the user should be like this don't worry if you don't understand the meaning of this of course you will understand because this uh, text is the translation Indonesian translation from this text here I'm providing it in Indonesian language or Bahasa Indonesia language for the text for the show alert button I will <coughs> set a text to tampilkan pesan and for the alert message I'm going to type ini adalah pesan saya <coughs> let me make it bigger the screen Okay. <coughs> okay, I'm done. Now
now I'm done with this function let me run uh, let me create another function and then run it <coughs> this function I'm going to call set language set lang uh, let me put it here after the language variable declaration function set lang here I'm going to pass this language variable here I'm going to do another switch switch language uh, I'm sorry I I was not done with this localize here at the end of this function I have to return the <coughs> value of this localized text so here I will add return <coughs> localized text okay it seems I'm done here for the set language function switch language case en in case the language is English then I'm going to translate this on my user interfaces document get element by ID uh, I'm starting with this my title and dot inner HTML equal to uh, loca localize it has two parameters first is the original text original text I'm going to put this title localized title and this is language I'm so sorry I don't need this switch statement because yes I don't need it. it I just need this simple code set language and it has language parameters then document get element by ID it will get this title ID here and set its text to the language that we have set localize the title and language is English that is for title now the second uh, second localization is for this uh, button for this button which is its ID is my button here I replace this text mm, and here I'm going to put this alert button here that is for the second and the for the third it is for the not no mm. all that is only two IDs that I am going to change its text the third thing should be this one for this alert for the alert function now if you click the button let me refresh the page let to see 
how does it work to see to test does it work or not now because I'm in English so you you did not see any difference let me change it to ID let me change it to ID and refresh it uh, seem there is a problem here let me check it let me show developer console there is no problem so what is wrong language ID localize inner HTML Get element by ID. Case ID. Localize text language. How? Oh. Why doesn't it return the localized text? is ID in case language is ID let me see what is wrong case ID in the text Oh, I did not run this set lang function. So here I have to call it. I just created the function, but did that, but didn't call it. So let me call set lang, and I will pass this language variable. Now let me refresh. You see that now this title text is in Indonesian. Bahasa Indonesia and also this button here, but still the message is is, is in English. Let me switch it back to English. Now this user interface is it is in English. And let me switch it back to ID. Refresh it. You can see the localization is working now for the alert message here now I'm going to cut I'm going to delete this here inside this brackets I will call it localize again localize function and what is I'm going to localize I'm going to localize alert message so here I will put alert message and the language now let's refresh the page I click the button here the message is in English now and let's switch back to English to check does it work or not refresh it now this is is in English let's add another button or let's add another HTML element for example like this div uh, style let me start. let me create a kind of button uh, style with with 100 pixel background color black and the color right let me 
make a button for English language like this let me style it to make it more pretty okay let me put it on the style instead of styling this div here let me just use class I'll just give some button button and here inside this head I'm going to define the style for this for that some button class some button here it is English button and let me add another it is ID button here it is now I'm going to add an on click listener here what I'm going to call is this set lang function set lang set lang what language am I going to set for this one oh I'm sorry oh here on click show alert no on click set lang set lang and here I will put en for English I'm, I will copy it I will copy this on click listener and paste it here and set language ID let let's check it if I click this ID button now we are in Bahasa Indonesia if I click it again the EN button now it is in English let's add another language now let me add another if I want to add another language I can simply copy this block of code and paste it here for example I'm going to add a Japanese language GV JV for Japanese language here I'm going to add a translation for it uh, you don't need to know what does it mean it just it is translation for this text simple <laughs> okay then I'm going to add another button for the Japanese language JV for the JV and refresh it now we are in English and now we are in ID Indonesian language and we are now in JV Japanese language oh let me see mm. what 
this wrong? The message is still in English. Oh, hmm, the alert is still in English. Here is the mistake. If I call the set lang function, set lang language. Set lang. So let me modify it. Far here is basic uh, default language. Default language is en en, and here is far language language. The language is by default the language should be this default language. Then, if I click this button, it should modify the language variable. So, here language now should be this language. Uh, let me rename it new lang now the language should be new lang which is this en or id or jv like this then run this localization okay let's test it now it is in english show alert this is english uh, message if we if I am in ID, hit the button. This message is now in Indonesian language. And if I click this JV button, now let's click this button. This is in Japanese language. That's it. It is simple and basic like localization functionality that you can implement in your web application you can modify it depends on your need okay thank you for watching this tutorial and i hope this tutorial useful for you see you next time